Hi, I'm Jason, creator of The Grey Rooms. As much as we love bringing you fresh new stories every season, we love introducing you to new podcasts we think you'll love. And this is one of them. From the Twisted Minds at Good Point Podcasts, we'd like to introduce Two Flat Earthers Kidnap a Freemason. Flat Earth Society members Randy Dunning and Gail Kruger are not oblivious. They know what's really going on. They know what's being hidden from the rest of the world, and the Freemason trapped in their basement is primed to reveal all in an explosive viral video. Well, as soon as they can figure out how to do that. From the mind of Jeremy Elliott comes a dark satirical comedy set in a world of conspiracy. Two Flat Earthers Kidnap a Freemason, starring Zane Schacht from Less is Morgue, Lauren Grace Thompson from The Vanishing Act, Matthew Woodcock from The Monster Hunters, and Addison Peacock from The No Sleep Podcast. Check out Two Flat Earthers Kidnap a Freemason on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. New episodes drop every Friday. The truth is out there for those willing to dig a little deeper. Warning, people who listen to Two Flat Earthers Kidnap a Freemason may experience being woke, intense truthiness, or an intense desire to make viral social media videos. Two Flat Earthers Kidnap a Freemason accepts no liability for damages caused unless you get rich, then you owe us 5%. Malcolm Kirkpatrick is the kind of man who gets the job done. That's what people always say about him. They choose to ignore his methods. Now, would you look at that? All the no trespassing signs match the ones on Google Street View. A few short weeks ago, the longtime recluse Daniel Downripple went public with his intention to publish a tell-all expose on what he referred to as the Industrial Space Complex. Books containing wild claims about the government aren't new or even uncommon. They fill library shelves across the world. The difference here being that Downripple, due to his previous access to classified materials, might actually have the credentials and evidence to back up his claims. Nervous fingers poke through the blinds and bend them into a wide peephole. A surprised, shocked, white face stares back at Malcolm. Hello, Mr. Dan Ripple. How are you doing today? Fuck off! I'm not buying any magazines! No, it's about your book. I'm with Rope and Hammer. The door creaks open to reveal the rest of Daniel Downripple. He looks exactly how you'd imagine a reclusive former astrophysicist to look, which is to say, sexy as a motherfucker. Just kidding, he looks like shit. So, you're with the publishers? Yes, that's right. I'm here on behalf of Rope and Hammer. Ah, why did you say so? Come in, come in. Hopefully you're here to deliver a few more bags of money. (laughs) Unfortunately, I'm without bags of money. Thank you, thank you, that is lovely. I found some old photos I thought might make a nice addition to the book. Down Ripple slides a manila folder across the table to Mac, in a way that suggests he'd been waiting a long time for the chance to slide a mysterious manila folder across a table to a stranger in a suit. Hmm, it doesn't look like it has much to do with the industrial space complex. Looks to me like a bunch of... Lycanthropes, wolfwalkers, werewolves. I have reason to believe that they're also somehow tied up in all this fake moon landing business. Down Ripple watches as Mac continues to look over the pictures with bored apathy. He turns them from left to right as if some hidden picture within the picture might suddenly appear. What's led you to believe something like that? I've recently come into possession of certain evidence which seems to suggest that Freemasons are taking their orders from an intelligent life form from not only beyond our world, but beyond our dimension. Really? Oh, yes. The Masons are in league with all sorts of monsters. Like werewolves? Not just werewolves. All the cryptids. Bigfoot, Mothman, Goatmen, Dogmen... Cowboys! They're all working together to control our world while keeping their existence a secret. 
Where did you hear about such wild claims? Uh, my sources need to remain anonymous. Freemasons are known to have operatives and assassins everywhere. I can't just go spilling these beans all over town. <laughs> While I understand your need to keep your beans, that'll be a tough sell to the folks back at the corporate offices. If we're to be publishing a book claiming that Freemasons are working alongside Dracula, Frankenstein, and the Tooth Fairy, then you'll need to provide a source. It doesn't need to be on record and in a text, but my colleagues and I will need to be- I never said Dracula or Frankenstein. You might as well have. What? <coughs> you! What did you do? There it is. Why? Relax, Watch Daniel. You're up. having a heart attack. Just let it happen. Up. It's quite ironic, don't you think? For years, you've allowed your paranoid impulses to control and dictate your life. They told you to run, to hide yourself from everyone you love, to surround yourself with walls. <laughs> For the purpose of protection. To keep yourself safe and alive. Then one day, a lying man showed up on your doorstep, ready and prepared to kill you. And you willingly open the door of your fortress and let him inside. It is ironic, no? Free base and... The influence of Freemasonry is undeniable and unavoidable. But who are these mysterious apron-wearing craftsmen? And what are they up to? For centuries, hater ass conspiracy theorists have attempted to answer these questions, only to come to the general consensus that while they don't know exactly what the Freemasons are doing behind those closed doors, they do know it cannot be any good. Or, as one 18th century conspiracy theorist put it, if such people were not doing evil, they would never have so much hatred of the light. But this isn't the story of how the Freemasons built their Temple of Secrecy. No, this is the story of how it all came crashing down brick by brick. All because of one man, Randy Dunning. By his own admission, Randy is an online entrepreneur and a flat earth content creator. He has, at times, also claimed to have been a two-time Poetry.com Poet of the Year a ninth degree black belt taekwondo grandmaster, an anti-gravity activist, and an international leader in the fight against globalism. Randrew Andal Dunning, a self-taught master of everything. Randy first became aware of the true nature of our world during an internet flame war about bumblebees. Randy scoured the internet for counterproof, but to his amazement, the search results were all well-engineered lies and bee-related misinformation. So, he dug further. Randy soon found himself on an unstoppable, unskippable daisy chain of information. Each video he watched would corroborate the claims of the previous video, until, when watching one of these videos, Randrew would discover the real truth about bees, that given their wingspan, body weight, and all known laws of physics, bumblebees should not be able to fly. And if that were true, then gravity as we knew it might also be fake. And if that were true, Sir Isaac Newton, the original perpetuator of the gravity myth, would have been a liar, a fraud, and unsurprisingly, a Freemason. So, young and impressionable 33-year-old Randy Dunning was left with two options. He could research the difference between fixed wing flight and moving wing flight, or he could look into this whole gravity is fake and Freemasons are evil thing and see where it led him. Two Flat Earthers Kidnap a Freemason Episode 1 Shadow Band Sit right here so we can open. Two Flat Earthers Kidnap a Freemason Written and created by Jeremy Ellert Starring Zane Schacht Jack Carmichael Graham Rowett 
Lauren Grace Thompson, David Alt, Adam Clark, Maya Murphy, Ryan Philbrook, Josh Rubino, Brandon Finch, Michelle Kelly, Kirsty Wolven, Kristen DiMercurio, Matthew Woodcock, Charlie Wess, and Addison Peacock. I get this from a very reliable source, and it may come as a shock to many of you, but the entire state of Delaware doesn't exist. It's nothing but 2,000 square miles of ghost towns and corruption. Mannequins, fake storefronts, doctored maps. They've got more businesses living in Delaware than there are people living in Delaware. Someone needs to tell the elites to do something about this traffic. What's up, Chicken Nug? Did you see the video? The one where the monkey rides up on the tiny motorcycle and tries to kidnap that kid? <laughs> Shit, yeah. I was like, go monkey, go! What? No. Karen just posted a new one. Already? What's it about? August update, colon, ancient astronaut theory debunked, question mark, the secret occult truth about cheese. If time can be a flat circle, why can't the Earth? Looks like she gets into a few different topics. Any comments? The lighting is terrible, no surprise there. And the claims she's making about Gebekli Tepe and goat cheese are pretty sus. I meant comments on the video. Yeah, yeah, we got a couple of comments here. Okay, let me see. Oh, here's one. Love it. Love this so much. Check your DMs. Dang, girl, you went in on them. Hello, heliocentric fantasies. How would you like to earn $70,000 a week while working from home as the owner of your own business? A few that are just the eyeballs emoji? Do you want on Chichen Itza next? Karen, how dare you be so brave? Ugh, stuff like that. How many views? Um, mm, 26,653. What's our last one at? 50. 50,000? All right. Not bad, not bad. Nope. Just 50. 50 total views. Goddamn shadow ban. I was thinking, since we're shadow banned anyway, maybe can finally try my fish tank idea. No. If we want people to start taking the concept of a flat earth seriously, then we're going to need to start taking oh. ourselves seriously. What should we do? This weekend, we're going to upload a video that will change the world forever. I'm gonna bring home another aquarium anyway, just in case. Wake up, sheeple! Delaware does not exist! As Randy begins his daily dead man's walk, he notices an unfamiliar face has joined him in the parking lot. They look happy and confident, far too happy and much too confident to be an employee of Clark Communications. As this cheerful spy starts to open the door to the front entrance, Randy calls out to her. Uh, hey, hold up, can you hold the door for me? Oh, sure thing. Being the kind, caring, and gracious person she is, the woman steps to the side and holds the door open for Randy. He smiles and waves as he enters the building. I appreciate it. It's no problem at all. Then, Randy immediately turns, grabs the door handle, and pulls the door shut. What the hell? A bewildered face stares back at him from the other side of the glass. Where's your badge? Sorry, I didn't realize you were with security. There's a whole lot of evil in this world. That's why we wear badges and name tags. Horrendous acts of violence can be carried out by little old ladies such as yourself. That was unnecessarily rude. And unfortunately, I don't have a badge yet. I'm supposed to be starting work here today. The email said something about checking in when I arrived. Just a sec. Um, sorry. I, I know I've, I've got it in here somewhere. That's going to take forever. Just tell me your name. Bonnie Long. B like boy. O like... I can spell. Is that Bonnie with a Y or an I-E or... I-E. I had some trouble finding this place. I hope I'm not late. Unfortunately, Bonnie, you are too late. Hey, sorry about that. Uh, don't listen to him. Here's your visitor pass. You'll get your picture taken and receive an official badge later today. 
through those double doors over there and find Walter Clay. He'll help you out. Thank you. What was it? Ed, thank you, Ed. We can never be too safe, right? No, we really can't. Can I see your badge, sir? Don't be like that, Ed. I accidentally left it at home. Hey y'all, it's Rando from The Flat Truth. Before I get started fighting the good fight today, I just want to remind everyone to like, subscribe, and share. We've been slapped with a pretty serious shadow ban, and if I could be just completely blunt for a second, you folks don't seem to be doing jack shit about it. But Rando, how can you be so sure you've been shadow banned? You must have some pretty serious evidence if you're going to make those kinds of accusations. Well, I do. Let me just lay it out there. The Flat Truth is a wildly successful content creation company, but we're barely hitting a thousand views on our videos. Somehow, our dislike numbers are higher than ever. But I guess that's what happens when you speak the truth. The Flat Truth. Remember, folks, there's no such thing as a coincidence. Hey, check out this video. Monkey on a motorcycle? Is this the one where the monkey does the loop-de-loop? -loop? Nah, in this one, a monkey rides up on a little motorcycle and tries to kidnap this kid. It's funny as shit. How many views does it have? 217,000. That's nothing. No, that's quite a bit, actually. My sister showed me a video yesterday of a dog with the post-poop zoomies, and that video had like 60 million views. Look that one up. Why are you watching a dog take a shit? It it's not that part. It's just the dog being all jazzed up and running around afterwards. Still weird. Whatever, man. I think it's cute. Anyway, check this out. This monkey is fucking wild. Freaking ad won't let me it's skip. Smashed potatoes! Experience the game the New York Times unironically called an absolute smash hit. From farm to table, you control the entire potato life cycle. Harvest fresh potatoes and smash them! Oh, you know what? Unwanted I've got one for you. Check this out. Upgrade and customize the decor of your Beetle potato Bailey? smashing pals. Did you cut this Invite out of the newspaper? And friends or millions of potato smashers <laughs> hey, from you all see, around Beetle the world. Bailey is saying so beat the even the score. Sarge gets a smash. kick out of me, and the Sarge is kicking him in the butt. See? I don't get it. <laughs> you get it. You get it. Yeah. Thank you for holding, Mr. Maggery. I appreciate your patience. I just wanted to let you know that I'm still working on your account and doing everything I can to try and get that fee waived. No worries at all, just doing my job. I really hate to do this to you again, but I am going to need to put you on another quick hold while I contact a specialist about this issue. Thank you. And by the way, your silly little cartoon reinforces some seriously harmful bullying issues that plague our military. Not to mention the fact that it's obviously pro-American imperialist propaganda. It's funny. It's irresponsible is what it is. Yet, yeah, I'm just gonna let you have this one, Randy. Because you know I'm right. That's all I do, all day long. Chop, 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 chopping the heads off of people's dumb arguments. You ever wonder why they put your desk so close to security? Let some real danger come up in here. You'll be begging for my help. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're Mr. Junior Olympic Taekwondo Champion or whatever. Thanks again for holding, Mr. Maggery. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to waive the fee for you today. I understand. I understand that. I understand your frustration. Would you mind holding for one second, sir? I need to reboot my system. Smello? Current call, just go ahead and log all the way out to production and come meet me in my office. You got it. Welcome to Birdies, Pets, and More, the fourth or fifth best pet store in the St. Louis area. Not bad, Birdies, not bad at all. Gail Kruger will be with us in just one second. She's finishing up with another customer. Could you please not do that? Do what? Could you not bathe my pet's food with your cancer rays? Oh, no, it's okay. The scanner is 100% completely safe. Nothing to worry about. You don't get to tell me what to worry about. How about you do some research for yourself instead of just parroting everything the TV has to say? 
What seems to be the problem here? I heard something about a parrot. Now, if you're referring to the macaw in the back, I do want to assure you that he learned all those profane hot takes from a previous owner. Your employee here was spraying her cancer lasers all over my dog treats. Gail? They're talking about the scanner. It is incredibly irresponsible for you to be using those scanners on things people eat. You eat these? These things cause cancer? No, they don't. Yes, they do. I was reading all about it online. Are you even on Facebook? Everybody's on Facebook? Then I don't know how you haven't heard about this yet. It's all over Facebook. I tell you what, if you send me some links, I'll look into it. See if any changes are in order. Good. But until you make those changes, I'll be taking my business to Pets World. (sighs) They've got cancer scanners at Pets World, too. Hey, how much y'all give me for these snakes? We don't buy wild snakes. This isn't an animal pawn shop. Since when? Since forever, mate. Mm, fuck this place! <laughs> LOL. No, he's a famous singer. His name is Drake. See, the joke is he doesn't like the one thing, but he does like the other thing. <laughs> now do you get it? Here, here, I'll send you another one. <laughs> See? He's saying nah uh to pickles, but uh uh-huh to cucumbers. <laughs> oh, I've got a million of them. Uh, hold on, Jerry, I'm gonna have to call you back. <laughs> I'm sure he would. I'm sure he would. <laughs> Alright, bye now. Hey, Charlotte. Yeah. Hey, Randy. You know Walter from Human Resources, right? No, can't say that I do. Hi, that's me. Walt Clay, HR, Human Resources. Randy Dunning, CRC. Complaints, retention, and complex cases. Nice ring. Thank you. I paid for it dearly. It cost me my life. It was, in fact, a nice ring. A very nice ring. Inlaid with a square and compass and the letter G. Undeniably, a Freemason's ring. What festival days do you celebrate? Is this about me calling in last week? No. Listen, Randy, I'm just going to jump right into it. Over the past three months, we've received numerous complaints regarding your inappropriate use of company internet. Well, that's fucking bullshit. I'll also have to ask you to please keep your language professional. What did I do? Well, you just said fucking bullshit, so that's two no-nos right there. One for fucking and another for bullshit. Can't say anything these days without pissing someone off. After receiving the complaints, our IT department looked into it and they were quite alarmed at what they discovered. Uh, Walter, do you still have the list there in front of you? Yes. Would you mind giving us a few... Right. And Randy, this represents only a small portion of the videos you've been watching on Company Time. Secrets of the Illuminati. Crisis actors exposed. Planet Flat Earth. I'm an anti-gravity activist and proud of it. Elvis Presley isn't dead, he called me last night. Highlights from the 2005 Junior Olympic Taekwondo Championship. Undeniable proof that Bill Hicks faked his death to become Alex Jones. Five reasons why Governor Gardner Fleming is a shape-shifting cat person. Six reasons why Governor Gardner Fleming is a shape-shifting cat person. And most recently, monkey on a motorcycle. What's wrong with watching Taekwondo highlights? With that one, I think it was the number of times you've watched it that made us concerned. So, you folks have been keeping an eye on me for a while. We monitor everyone, Randy. It's crucial to maintaining the security of our clients' information. I bet you watch everyone. I do have one question I'd like to ask you, Randy. The video, Five Reasons Why Gardner Fleming is a Shape-Shifting Cat Person, was posted in 2016. And then... In 2020, the same user posted six reasons why Gardner Fleming is a shape-shifting cat person. What was the new reason? I don't know, Charlotte. How about you do your own research and look it up for yourself? Fair enough. My break's been over for like 20 minutes. Can I go back to my desk now? Hate to get written up again. Um, yeah, well, Randy, while we have you here, there is another bit of paperwork we'll need to discuss. I think my cat has Stockholm Syndrome. What? No, I'm sure he loves you. 
I mean, sure, after years of captivity, Chauncey has probably convinced himself that he loves me. But deep down, I think we both know he's really just a product of the power I hold over him. Hmm. Well, Chauncey's free right now and he isn't running away. See what I mean? He won't stay away from me. Our love isn't real, Chauncey. I'm your captor, not your friend. Would the fine folks of Birdies, Pets, and more be able to keep Chauncey for a few days? I think he needs an expert opinion. Expert? Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. No problem. Thank you so much, Golly. How much would something like that cost me? Tell you what, I'll do it for free. I can't ask you to perform labor for free. Here, we can take a selfie and post it to my Instagram account. I have almost 2,000 followers. A few even live here in the St. Louis area. That should get this place plenty of exposure. No one ever died from exposure. Fired. You. Me? Listening at home or in your what car or in your is bunker. That? Don't be afraid to stand up. It's going to take every one of us to defeat the globalists. Why is the entire Space. fucking world working? Climate this? change. Quantum mechanics. Do they expect us to believe any of this scientism? The seeds of unrest have been sown. The rain of deception has fallen. And now the roots of state-sponsored propaganda are spreading throughout the soil of our country. I'm talking to you, Randy Dunning. You need to do something. You were put here on this infinite flat plane of existence for a reason. You're not like the other sheep. The world needs to hear your voice. Join my chorus, Randy, and together we'll wake them up. We're going to wake everyone up. Wake up! You can support the Newsham Hour by donating to our Patreon at Newsham is Creating the News. We've got a lot of great rewards on there. Koozies, dartboards, bumper stickers, window decals. While you're at it, don't forget to pick yourself up some no bono socks using our promo code NASALIES. Once again, that's promo code N A S A L I E S. Hey there, Mr. Dumpster. I hope you're hungry, because I have a big bag of shit for your dumpster mouth. Yum, right? Hello? Hello? Who's there? Bigfoot. Bitch, I didn't think Shit. I had a second bucket of snakes. <laughs> That's <laughs> not funny. <laughs> oh. Were you out here talking to the dumpster again? No, I wasn't talking to the dumpster. I was talking around the dumpster. Can I ask you a weird question? Is this going to be like... Is the hot dog a sandwich debate? Because I think it'd be best if we just... No, it's nothing like that. Promise. Okay. Shoot. Do you think pets really love us and see us as their adopted animal parents? Or did we just brainwash them into loving us? Is this about your lizard? What was his name? Ripta. What's the matter with Ripta? Nothing. Probably. I don't know. It's just something a customer said to me, and now I'm worried that maybe Reptar would be happier if they were living with their lizard buddies out in Arizona or whatever. Well, that may be true. I think it'd be pretty hard for an iguana to make new iguana friends, especially at Reptar's age. Are iguana retirement communities a thing? Uh, no. That'd be weird. (laughs) But I tell you what, we've got more than enough crickets around here, don't we? Take home a few thousand and let Riptar go crazy on him. He'll forget all about his troubles. <sighs> Thanks, Millie. Oh, and this here is Chauncey Biscuits. He's going to be staying with us for a few days. The fuck he is. What? 
That's a cat, right? Maybe. Yeah, that's what I thought. A customer dropped him off for observations. I'd take him home with me, but Randy's allergic to cats. Can't stay here. Be like an all-you-can-eat buffet. It's just a few days. I don't see what the big deal is. You want to be responsible for the death of a dozen teddy bear hamsters? Gail? Do you? No. I don't mean to be harsh, no, but... No, Millie. I get it. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Oh, and Gail, don't forget your crickets. Going round and round, circle endlessly, a beginning and no end. What a way to be. Just sit tight. I'm going to scope out the situation, and the second I know the coast is clear, I'll come back for you. Uh Uh-huh. That's what I was thinking, too. I'll do my best. Okay. I'll be right back. Welcome back to Heliocentric Fantasies. It's me, Karen. And today I'd like to ask you to ask yourself, if time can be a flat circle, why can't Earth? Imagine Imagine for a moment that all 6,000 years of time were held together within a spiritual dome or firmament. Now, I ask you again to ask yourself if time is able to be held together by such a firmament, wouldn't the earth itself be bound by the same rules? And who makes up these rules? And who is enforcing them? Hey, babe. Hey, look at this bullshit. Two hundred thousand views? How is she- I don't know. What about the one you posted this morning? What's it at? Nine hundred and ninety-one. So, basically, nobody watched it. What's that sound? Crickets. Whole bunch of them. Millie let me bring some home so I could let Riptar throw these on the barbie, mate. Will you at least keep them in the garage or something? I need to be able to focus without it sounding like fucking nighttime in here. Oh, sure, 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 sure. I had left something out in the car anyway. Alpha Swag Lad left a comment on Karen's new video. Alpha Swag Lad? They leave a comment on, like, everything Karen posts. They're almost as obsessed as Bite My Butt O2. I know. I love them. Check it out. Disclaimer. I decided to watch this video based on a friend's recommendation. Afterward, I felt compelled to do whatever I could to prevent anyone else from watching this video. The poor sound quality and editing made viewing it almost unbearable. The music seemed to run long for no reason. If I were Karen, I would probably just quit making Flat Earth videos because there are probably better Flat Earth documentarians out there who people should be watching instead. (laughs) Hilarious, right? I mean, haters gonna hate. We get lots of negative comments on our videos, too. Yeah, but those are either A, fake, or B, people who don't know what they're talking about. 
You can't put anything out into the world these days without getting mocked by some anonymous dumb fuck from Massachusetts sitting in front of a computer screen, stroking his beard, and thinking he knows fuck all about anything. Fuck him. Him who? Him everyone. And now, millions of people are making Flat Earth videos. So why the hell was anyone supposed to be able to get the word out about it? What we need is something revolutionary. Something fucking mind-blowing. Something that just has no choice but to go viral. I have an idea. I swear, if you're talking about walking around with a fish tank... I'm just saying it's the easiest way to communicate the flat earth theory, and that's gotta be goal number one. I get that. I do. I just don't. You don't what? I think there might be some faults in your logic. That's all I'm saying. How many views are we at now? 992. Dang! I was hoping maybe we got a few more while we were talking. Click it again. Do you really think we've been... shadow banned? Absolutely. The timing's too perfect for it to be a coincidence. Think about it. Almost as soon as we start taking off, something happens. And then we come crashing back down to Earth. What kind of bullshit is that? A shadow ban. That's what kind of bullshit that is. One of our videos has almost 2 million views. 2 million. Now our new video is at what? 993. Oh, I hate the deep state. Is the B video really at 2 million views? Pretty much. Check it out. 1,600,063. Wow! Once play it again for old time's sake? Uh, I say we play it 10 more times for old time's sake. It's Rando, back with another Rando rant. If you're driving while you're watching this, you better buckle the fuck up. So, <laughs> get this. Based on their relative density and wing size, bees shouldn't be able to fly. In fact, their ability to fly directly contradicts the rules of physics and, most specifically, some bullshit they've been feeding us for our entire lives. Oh, it's just this little thing they like to call gravity. Ever heard of it? I just want to go on the record right now and say that I... Randy Dunning, and 100% anti-gravity. As the video plays, Randy and Gail both stare at the screen with a mix of disbelief and nostalgia. This is quite possibly the most important thing they've ever done, the thing which may one day be the only surviving part of their legacy. Laugh if you want, but that video has almost 2 million views. The fuck you ever done that got two million views? TikTok goes a clown. TikTok, tiki tock. TikTok goes a clown guy. Wait for you. Two flat earthers kidnap a Freemason. Written and created by Jeremy Ellett. Actor direction by Danielle Ellett. The opening and closing theme for Two Flat Earthers are both by Gladrags. Additional music provided by Baggio Alvarado, Randy Greer, Louis Zong, and the Blue Dot Sessions. Special thanks to our associate producers, Daniel Naruta and Anthony Sigmund Lowry. Be sure to check out our other shows, The Subjective Truth and The One Stars. If you'd like to help Good Point make more weird audio fiction, then visit patreon.com forward slash good point. If you enjoyed listening to this episode of Two Flat Earthers Kidnap a Freemason, please leave us a rating, review, codex, or riddle on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get podcasts. If you aren't able to leave a rating or review, then please go into your backyard, the street, or a field and shout compliments about the show. If you plan on leaving a one-star rating or review on the podcast, we recommend instead that you simply fuck off and listen to something else.